So hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. We're really excited to be part of this year's DevOps Enterprise Summit. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about what it looks like to make it easier for people to do things right. So focusing in on measuring, governing, and auditing security. Uh, I'm Rob Cuddy, an application security evangelist for HCL. Hey, uh, I'm Colin Bell. I'm the uh, AppScan CTO at, at HCL. My name is Dragan Plevkovic and I'm Senior Director of Application Security at IGT. So to start this, I, I thought what we would do is maybe focus from a continuous security perspective, and then maybe we can have a, a conversation around what this means to everyone. So we, myself and Rob, have presented um, our model on continuous security for a while now. And just what you're looking at here is really what that manifests itself as. So it, we, we break it into three phases and i know there are other models which do similar things but to us there's a construction phase which is really about you know setting things up that everything is sort of bolt on and it really to a certain degree is it's the devops piece um but we want continuous security to be a lot more than just just that so we also recognize that as organizations sort of build on that they move into a phase which we call intensify which is really where you're starting to educate people. Um, you're starting to roll things out to security champions. You're starting to build on top of that and build out controls and, and whatever else. And then the final phase for us is, is around assurance. And assurance is making sure we're doing the right thing in the right way. And, and really the, the focus of this discussion, I think, is going to be on the assurance side of things. Um, right. You know, the governance, the audit, and, and how things flow back and forward. Right, right. And the nice thing about it is that this fits exactly into the key paradigm with DevOps where you want feedback that you can use to make better decisions. So this is about getting those other pieces around beyond just adding testing to a pipeline or figuring out ways to do scanning better or getting developers to run tests and those kinds of things. But it's really about using security throughout the pipeline and having pieces that that fit back in to help us drive security throughout. So really like how this just kind of feeds through on onto itself um, and continues to build improvement. So we know, Colin, like when you and I talk about this a bit, we talk a lot about the importance of governance and what that looks like. Um, so when we hear that, what do you think it looks like for security um, for having governance fit into a software development model? You know, what does a good security governance model look like? I mean, I think in essence, it's, a, you know, governance comes from a lot of things. You know, it, it's important to decide who's in charge of the security program in the first place. Yeah. And so if you've got, um, you know, a centralized point that controls the security, um, you know, that, that's an important element to, I think, to getting governance going. And you have to ensure that they have teeth as well. So there's no point having, a, you know, a level of governance where, you know, the DevOps manager can decide, oh, I'm not going to really do that, you know, because it doesn't suit me. Um, and then I think the final thing is, I think there's also, a, you need to have a willingness to bring in experts and, and thought leaders and, and try and learn and develop that program. So governance can be a whole lot of things, but, but ultimately, it's setting out the rules that, that we want to have from our application. Like in, Dragon, in, in your world, like how is, how is governance generally done in a large organization like yours? You, do you see that as a, a central opportunity, or is it something that is a little bit more distributed? I believe that's in, in a session thing, uh, and uh, in big organizations, but probably in all organizations. Governance means that you are on top of things and that you can manage it continuously. So things change constantly and sometimes they change very quickly. And at present time, when we talk about software development, most of organization adopted agile process. Uh, and agile process means uh, bi-weekly sprints, uh, whatever, and it's very fast. And it seems that security and agile process will be in conflict in some degree. And big question here is how to make security to be part of agile process. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see from real life 
that software development teams are pressed very hard by business uh, and business is in rush to deliver on time and in quality and the market requires new features and functions of software which will be extra cool so to speak and which market will adopt and they can get advantage over their competition and in that rush security related related things can be neglected if there is no strict governance so strict governance means you are still in that fast process in control and uh, governance is from another side and perspective often much slower the discipline and uh, uh, needs and wants stability so philosophical view will be that they are opposing each other and you need to find kind of trade-off between these two and there is so-called software security assurance program which i was introducing with my teams which tries to kind of uh, put all things or these three things on same and one thing that is um, very often neglected in some organization I have seen those is they don't have asset inventory when I say asset inventory in terms of software security I mean lists of applications modules components whatever products solutions and that uh, list need to have not just names of applications and components and